Hi oh guys, yes, it has been a long time since uh, I've done a tutorial. So I'm just going to do a quick, simple tutorial today. Um, but it just might have been something you didn't know about. Yes, I'm still using my 2013. Um, I just haven't got around to upgrading yet. I've had loads of projects on all, uh, all kind of just, it's just not been the right time to upgrade. So anyway, for now, this can be used on any, um, possibly any version of Maya. So let's just have a little, little play around. So I'm just going to create a sphere and I'm just going to, uh, scale that up a bit and I'm going to turn my subdivisions to 100 all over the place. So I'm just going to go to rendering tab. I'm going to stick a blend on this sphere. I'm going to go into the rendering editor. I'm going to get a hypershade open. Obviously in 2017 that's all slightly different, but whatever. So here we go. Let's just get this um, blend open. And I'm just going to, in here, I'm just going to type in displace. So we're going to get a displacement node open. And with that displacement node selected in the attribute editor, I'm going to go into the displacement uh, flim flam and we're going to open up a file node and we're going to source the file now mine is uh, an image sequence so you might want to create your own image sequence for this but all will be revealed on what this does um, it's an image sequence so we're going to turn on image sequence um, I'm going to delete the expression because I don't like the way Maya deals with um, creating an image sequence expression so I'm going to delete that expression I know that my image sequence starts from frame zero, so I'm going to hit zero. I'm going to go back to frame zero. I'm going to set a key, and then I'm going to, I know my uh, image sequence finishes at frame 36, so I'm just going to blip, blop, blip to 36. I'm going to type in 36, and I'm just going to right click and hit set key. Always check though the um, see we can see we've got the image sequence there. And if I scrub backwards or forwards, we see that changing. Um, this was just an image sequence really simply made in After Effects, just some rings that rotate up and down and disappear off. Um, always check that you haven't got um, any smoothing Bezier curves on your um, file node. So on this, check in here that you haven't got something like that. Because what that's going to do is slow down the how, how quickly or how slowly the frames play over time. So you want that to be a linear. So there we go. We've got um, our uh, placement node, our image sequence, our displacement. Um, and I'm just going to plumb middle mouse, drop that over there into displacement. So now we've got displacement on our shader. I'm just going to double check that we've got the displacement on the shader by assigning the material alrighty so we won't see anything at the moment but if we just go to modify convert displacement to polygons with history important so we've got a displacement showing up um, on our model now and if we just select the file node and take down the alpha gain a bit we can get a bit more of a smoother looking model and obviously if we scrub up and down the timeline we can actually see this in real time so you could do it normally with a displacement map but this way gives you great control to actually see what's going on so it's you know it's basically acting like a um, deformer but a controllable deformer so you can start creating all kinds of cool motion graphics um, we can make it spiky and do all mad stuff so I mean in actual fact we don't need an image sequence but you may want to you may have some depth footage um, you may just have some uh, patterns and stuff like that you want to make in After Effects you could do rain whatever you want anything you want so if you did rain you could do rain dripping down the sides of this sphere that would look pretty cool um, and you can do it all like this and just render it as you want and because we're only using a displacement map we've still got all of our color properties where we can change the color and whatnot we can even stick a texture over the top of it um, uh, yeah, and if you put a blin on first, always a good idea. Put a blin on first because then you could um, scroll down to any other shaders that you use for your rendering engine. So, like for me, I use V Ray, so I can just stick on uh, a V Ray shader like so and just whack up some reflection, um, 
refraction, create a V-Ray light, and just render it in V-Ray rather quickly. So yeah, it's a, it's a really cool thing to do. It's really good fun. Um, you can also use Maya's built-in file texture nodes. So if we just delete all of this, remember not to delete, <coughs> excuse me, remember not to delete your history on this object because <coughs> it is a history based effect so I just go to 100 here and you can use any bit of geometry you want um, if you've UV mapped a, a model of a face or a head something like that you could then do those effects that they do in the movies where you see like spiders or whatever crawling, out, crawling under the skin so basically you just create your spider in After Effects um, render that out as an image sequence but obviously using black and white values bring that in as a displacement map so I mean that is how that is done um, so yeah with this like this we could just again we'll create a, we'll create a blin we'll just graph that and I'll just go into 3d texture let's get rid of the word displace and I'll just create some granite um, and I suppose I'll just drop that on like that as a displacement map quite simply um, and with this selected I'll just make sure that it's on there and I'll just go modify convert with history so now we've got a different type of look and if we click on our file node we can go in here and we can start moving the effects around so we can start animating some cool kind of motion graphic -y type effects um, just by setting keyframes with these values so yeah man that's it that is all a quick one from me today um i will be back i'm going to be doing more of these um someone said to me on my channel the other day is like growing and stuff and i should really take care of it take care of the dudes on it a bit more and i really should but you know needs must sometimes guys and i have to keep the money rolling in from uh for my family and that and youtube really don't pay me any money but you know one day i might have my own website with big long full tutorials with whole whole big series that you guys could uh i don't know pay for or whatever i don't know i don't know anyway have fun with this it's cool and enjoy life love you Bye bye